Alright, so now I'm going to do a quick vid on my uh, character outfits and uh, clothing, accessories, gear, and all that. Um, why I have it. Um, you know, the whole purpose behind it. Uh, for one, it looks cool, in my opinion. Um, I was kind of going for more what uh, Dark was going for in um, his loadout, and one of his loadouts with the... Uh, this almost exact um, look, except the only difference really was um, was the it was this. This was the only difference really, and I, I really want to unlock this, but I I don't feel like paying for it. So um, so he had this outfit on with the sonar uh, goggles, which. You know, I think look really cool. Splinter Cell, and I and I beat that mission too, which I think Ubisoft should uh, reward you with, you know, the Splinter Cell gear if you beat the mission, honestly. But you know, it's whatever. So I just chose the you know helmet. Yeah, it's I guess the best thing that kind of went with this. Um, the the it's a fast ballistic helmet. Um, and uh, you know. I'd, did the standard, I uh, got my American patches there, did the standard uh, black uh, and olive, olive, um, is it the dark olive or the, uh, the olive drab, yeah, the olive drab and black usually go well together, you know, especially if you're trying to look all sneaky, um, and it, it just looks good in general, um, uh, and the vest as well um, and obviously the cry combat shirt is uh, also is one of the best looking shirts too where you can have a patch and all that and uh, has pads on it um, so I chose that and uh, put with a vest um, and I chose the IBA vest because, um, you know, I don't really care for the heavy look that uh, Dark had in his video, uh, which is the, where is it, is it the heavy arm, no, it's the heavy, yeah, I think it's the heavy armored vest, and, uh, yeah, you know, it's alright, um, I don't have it unlocked anyway, so, <laughs> figured the best thing, next thing to go with it would be the, um, not the heavy I, um, IBA, but the just the regular IBA. I like. I don't really like those big shoulder pads. Uh, tank pants I like because it's got the you know the uh, knee pads, sh uh, shin guards. Um, so that's why I chose that. Uh, combat boots. Um, And when it comes to body uh, detail, I just have my commando uh, face uh, paint and um, a scar there. Um, you know, my tattoos are kind of random. I tried to choose the most American <laughs> ones I could, or at least the most coolest ones. Um, so I chose this one, die sleeve. I don't know. Um, I might actually switch that to, uh, it doesn't really matter, but I think I might switch that sleeve to um, another one right now. Um, this one I like, uh, it's the um, the battle eagle, uh, the battle flag and eagle. There's the flag and eagle, which, you know, is also cool, but I kind of like the, um, you know, the battle flag uh, and eagle, it looks kind of cooler. And, um, You know, I'm not into really the whole uh, Mexican detail, you know, all that stuff. I do like this one, too. This is the other one I like. I can't get it on the other arm, unfortunately, so I have to, I'm stuck with that one. Um, but this one's cool, too. The skull's all right. Uh, I thought I had this unlocked. I guess I don't. I, even if after I killed the predator, I beat the predator mission. 
don't even have that unlocked. I do have his mask. Um, anyway, that's this minor stuff. Uh, and gloves. Uh, okay, here we go. Um, the AS5 ballistic goggles. Um, because I couldn't really figure anything else out that would go nice with the uh, with this whole uh, setup here. There really isn't <laughs> anything like everything else is, looks kind of goofy. I stuck with the Oakley, the these ones for a while. The Oakley SI Ballistic M frame. Um, when I in my old outfit, um, and for face wear, I have the one hole um, balaclava, however you pronounce it, balaclava. And I was debating on actually for another outfit I was debating on this and another uh, bandana type thing I unlocked uh, the skull bandana uh, or not the skull bandana the uh, oh and this is the predator mask by the way by the way um, unfortunately doesn't come with the rest of you know the predator like the dreadlocks and all that because you gotta pay for that um, I do like to wear this sometimes with my older outfit I had. Um, the artillery mask is pretty cool. Uh, Duchess cigar, that's part of the uh, part of the pr whole predator um, unlocks you get. Jaws, this is what I uh, was debating on wearing on one of my other outfits. I'll show you later. Anyway, um, fast ballistic helmet, yeah. Um, I was debating that one or the carbon high cut helmet. Uh, and then I realized the carbon high kind of just looks more goofier. Um, but they're both decent looking. I like them both. Um, Earpiece, you know, just because I can't really wear a headset with this thing, it just doesn't work. <laughs> so I just got the earpiece, uh, you know, uh, Oakley Pilot gloves, um, and uh, standard black. Backpacks. Um, this is always a hard one for me to choose. Th uh, this is one of actually my favorite ones. Um, along with another one I'll show you on my other loadout. Oh, the Y strap I had uh, for a while. Oh, th th that this is actually the one that I, with my other loadout, I'll show you that I like. Uh, I think goes with it. It looks most traditional. Um, when it comes to just, I don't know, the military in general. Um, but I keep this. And uh, American flag, obviously. Alright, and um, I do have a special outfit. Um, I set one. This is the one I started with. Um, you know, see there's the backpack I told you about I liked. Um, I think, yeah, those are the weapons I have now. And uh, you, know, you see the sunglasses, I do like the boonie hat and the, uh, you know, Duchess cigar kind of is cool. Uh, not too much, you know, harness wise or anything. Uh, set one. 
is this the yeah this is the um stealth one i made um this is another one that uh you know i was inspired to make by dark especially for uh, extreme difficulty in the uh, tier one um So as you can see, it's got the, um, I think that's a sandstone, um, vest there. A, um, you know, oh, I'll click it, hold on. But facial things, uh, all that's the same, so we'll look at clothes. Uh, cry combat shirt, that's the same. Um, I think instead of, though, it's, uh, it's olive drab. Um, IBA vest, uh, again, regular, uh, just standard IBA vest, sandstone, um, switching up colors, uh, obviously got the Gilly strands, I chose strands because, um, you know, I saw in Dark's video that, you know, how well it blended in, um, but, you know, again, it would depend on the environment you're in, um, hiking boots, uh, and, the, you know, there's this, strands and then there's woodsman uh the mossy one i'd like to unlock um camo netting to be honest i i kind of actually like the uh i like the looks of these other ones but it's they don't blend in as well as uh as the strands Anyway, that's uh, accessories. Uh, no eyewear. Um, we got the two hole back over this time instead of the one hole. Uh, Booney hat. And that's the uh, USAF uh, digital tiger. And the olive drab for the two hole back over. Uh, again, the earpiece um, for you know, headset. Um, Nomex gloves, uh, neutral color, and again this backpack that I told you about earlier, the AN uh, PRC 150, and I chose the American flag again, uh, mostly because I don't really have any other cool, um, any other cool patches, and I'm just representing too, and I chose the multicam um, American flag too to go with the uh, whole camouflage look uh, as you can see there the crime multicam oops uh, oh um, let's see if my what's my loadout for this character actually let me see actually yeah this is um, not the loadout that I I use for this this uh, this setup. This setup I will use a for assault rifle I will use the G2 um, which I showed you in the previous video actually you know what it's uh yeah we got it the green gray color yeah, that's what I would use for my assault rifle, and for my sniper rifle, I would use. Mm, what would I use? Uh, what was I using before? I was using the one that I had painted. Um, ah, yeah, the yes, the MSR, of course. This is my uh, standard stealth sniper rifle for this uh, setup. Perfect. With uh, the nice ATAX whatever camo there that is. I just like it. I like the look of it. Again, for handguns it doesn't matter. Um, Ooh, oops. <laughs> we'll get to that uh, in my stream coming up. Huh? 
So that's uh, set one, mid set two. Got nothing. Set three. That's yep. That's my other one. First one. Set four. Huh. This looks. I guess this is the uh, just one of the default set um, ghillie suit out outfits. Okay. Yeah. And for costumes, you know, I got the uh, Ghost Recon Future Soldier, which I have equipped for... Actually, I'll show you. Um, I got um, the this whole sp the Splinter Cell costume for Midas Midi Midi Midas Midas, however you pronounce it. Um, I do like the Dying Earth one. Because um, it has that whole, it's like a mix of Mad Max, uh, Road Warrior, and uh, Terminator. That's why I like it. It's got a nice look to it. Um, but I have him equipped with the Splinter Cell. And the, f the facial facial paint I had on him, I think, is, was perfect for the setup he has. Um, uh, you know, it's cool to see Assassin's Creed in the game, but, you know, not something I would like to see walk, you know, running around on the battlefield. Same with the Division. Division's alright, but meh. Um, alright, and, yep, next character, Holt. I have him as the icon Carl Bookhart, the, um, American you kill in the story mode, um, who was a pre previously a ranger, I, th I, I think. Um, and then for Weaver, I got the Ghost, the Future, uh, Ghost Recon Future, future Soldier, um, costume, which I think looks, uh, is one of the coolest looking ones next to the Splinter Cell one. Um, so that's pretty much it for, for, uh, costumes and, uh, you know, my loadouts with, uh, weapons and, uh, outfits. Oh, I did it again. Um, yeah, um, so, honestly, when you're playing on, like, an extreme difficulty in Tier 1 or whatever, um, you know, you, this, this is, this is, you, you, yeah, you're pretty much invisible wearing this when you're, especially when you're prone, honestly, so that's what this is good for, um. And you know, I think um, in the dark, um, my uh, other outfit would be good. My set, what is this? Uh, set two. No, set three. And this is just the general, general one. I keep it, my primary outfit, which I just like the look of. And uh, if anybody has any any ideas, though. Um, of what's uh, a good loadout? Um, let me know in the comments. Um, all right, so I guess that wraps up this uh, s s second part of this video of the uh, loadout, my loadouts. Um, I'm gonna be doing a live stream tonight um, on YouTube. Uh, starting around maybe eight, eight o'clock, and uh, I'm just gonna be wandering around collecting guns, and um, uh, I'm trying to do a challenge actually right now. Also, where um, it's this challenge right here. I wanna, I wanna um, solo challenge the uh, the prisons. I want to open the prisons, um, the three verbal prisons without being visually detected. That's the one I'm, I'm trying to do right now, actually. And on the way, pick up maybe some weapons and some skills, skill um, uh, XP and, you know, all that. And tier points. So I'll see you in that video.